lucky. Me and Les Dig was talking this earning and he's asking me about the controls on the uh, on the machine. And I hadn't really thought about it, but the controls my loader runs cat controls and our excavator runs cat controls even though it's a John Deere. So that means Excavator and our my, my loader, my track loader is this is this lever right here that's on the right stick. But in this back hoe, it's got John Deere controls in it. The the main boom is on the left stick. And uh, I get in here, I ain't really thought about. I know we tried to change it one time, but I couldn't run it like that. It, it was it was I don't know if it's because the hoe is sitting right here in your face or what it is. I don't know, but I couldn't I couldn't. Get used to it like that right there so we swapped it back to where the main stick was on the left here it's crazy stuff man crazy stuff. tell you what we're doing right now so i decided that's just thin wall pipe right there i cut it eight foot long took the back over and y'all saw it on the video the other day i pushed it down the ground i wasn't real happy with that i was gonna fill it up with concrete Put a cap on it, weld a cap on it, but I wasn't real satisfied with that. I don't like that thin wall stuff. So I've got some 40 foot sections. That is 5 16 wall thickness. It's not quite 3 8 It looks like 3 8 but it's not. It's not quite 3 8 and it's more than a quarter. Two inch diameter. I have a bunch of 40 foot sticks of it. I think it's for going in boilers, I think, because it came from West Point over there from. Uh, Babcock and Wilcox boiler company got it several years ago, but you talking about heavy So I cut me an eight foot stick of this just a second ago I'm gonna pull that pipe up and I'm gonna put this pipe down In that one's place That right there you hit it with a truck. It ain't gonna hurt nothing and uh, still a little bit wet down in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh I May go ahead and make my attachment here right quick. I got some pea gravel on my truck over there. So we're gonna see I have a war that goes on in my brain like 24-7. It's a crazy war. Y'all have a problem with with like having too much stuff on your mind? I do. I've done been back and forth to my shop like 15 times at least this afternoon. Just forgetting stuff. Well, just getting it and then coming back and thinking, oh crap, I need this and psh, back and forth, back and forth. I think I got it all now though. Y'all wanna know what I keep my, all my camera gear in? Right there. You're not gonna find a better case than a Pelican. Waterproof. I'm throwing the boat with me. There he is. About six thousand dollars. Actually, more than six thousand dollars in that in that case right there. Right quick. I can tell it's leaning that way, so. 
John Deere, the John Deere, and I'm going to get the other Polaris now. Oh, I should have put a disclaimer on this. People who hate barking dogs, just go ahead and turn the dead gun thing. I'll go watch something else now if you don't like my barking dogs. I know my dogs bark. I like for them to bark their hunting dogs. I'm not going to silence them at all because I want them to bark. That's the reason why the dog pen is down there and my house is way up there nearly 300 yards away so I don't hear them. I don't have any neighbors, see? No neighbors around me. That's why I live where I live. Yes. I know y'all heard me say frost-free spigot a bunch of times. This is it right here. It's a three-foot burial kind. The way it works is this is the top of it where the water hose connects on it. This is your valve. You pull back on it to open it, push down on it to shut. Well, what happens is, is when you shut this thing, the water that's in the pipe right here, that's in this pipe, drains back out of this hole right here you have to fill pea gravel around it so that it'll run out the only thing i got to do is and this is backwards bass ackers which i think i got to fit into those two on there i can do it like this right here this is fine huh? get some thread tape to put on it and then i need to fit into the screw in there it's got a pipe fitting on that end glue the PVC pipe to it, and she's good. I'll take some hose C clamp, oh, some hose C clamp, hose clamps, and tie this to the pipe out there. So that's how a frost free spigot works. And the reason why it's called frost free is because you don't have to wrap this stupid thing when it gets really cold because it will not freeze because the water is drained out and it's below the frost line. I just got a massive box of PVC. Fittings in their shop or cardboard garage. Raise your hand. I do. See, there's the one I need right there. Got a cardboard box full of them. You can never have too many PVC fittings. Sometimes when I'm walking down the aisles, I just grab us some just for the heck of it, man. So for all the people who say, oh yeah, put no thread tape on it. There, see that hanging out right there. Got to tighten down. See, I got thread tape. See it right there. See it. It's right there. It's all good. I'm going to screw that in there and go ahead and snug it down too. So I broke out my Milwaukee light right here. We're gonna hook this thing up right quick. So you can see I've got it attached here to the, uh, I just got it attached with uh, tie wires all right now, stainless steel tie wire. I'll come back with some hose clamps. Uh, next time I go to town, I'll get me some. I don't have any that big like that right now. But I laid a piece of treated wood down there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pipe to fit and I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue her up in there get her done lights working lovely so she's done she's glued I am not going to cover anything up to night that's where the water comes out right there I'm just going to leave it open like it is and you see, it's going to be good. I turned it where it was turned back toward the uh, toward the dog kennel over. I'll walk around here where y'all can kind of see from a different angle what that looks like with that light on it. That light does a good job. I don't even have it all the way up right there. I like that light, though. It's uh, pretty nice for illuminating the whole work area right here where you can see the work and move around in. That thing's going to be... Uh, going to be pretty handy right there. Alright, I know some of y'all want to see how this thing works. Watch that. I'm going to cut. I, the water's on now. I'm going to let some water out of it right here. It's going to be a lot of air in it. There's the water. Alright, watch it. See the water spraying out right there? It's draining that pipe right now. See that? That's what keeps it from freezing. 
and it'll do that until it drains out. So like I said, I got pea gravel and I'm going to fill around. I'm going to bring the dirt up to about right in there. And then uh, I'm going to take the pea gravel and start coning it up around it and then fill it and bring the pea gravel up at the same time. Because that pie, that pie hole is a good bit of water in it. It takes a little while to run it all out. But that's how that thing works. That's the reason why you don't have to uh, wrap those right there or anything. So she's done. Now I got to do this covered up and hook up the electrical, which I'm not concerned about the electrical right now. I'll get it done because I'm going to put a... I'll put a box on this uh, on this post right here, and I'll just run the electrical up through a piece of uh, conduit, and then I'll wire it up. I'll put, I got two sets of lights to go up under there, but this was my main goal, this right here, is uh, I'll probably come in here tomorrow and get this thing uh, covered up and finished up right here, and that'll be done. Now I gotta put all this freaking junk up now. I'm just gonna, I'll take the tractor and put it in the shed, leave the backhoe sitting right here, grab the four wheeler. Well, I may leave the four wheeler sitting right there too. Yes, I'm tired. Hope y'all enjoyed that. All the clickable stuff's right down below in the description. We'll see y'all later. Later, taters.